Hi, my name is Anne, and some of you have been watching these videos about the Sundays of Advent. There are four of them, and they help us get ready for Christmas. So today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. Now, let's talk for a second about the color wheel before we start our story. You can see we have purple for Sunday, for purple Sundays here and purple Sundays over here. Purple is a very serious color. It actually was the color of kings. And we know a king is coming, but he's not a king like people expected. He was, did not have a castle. He did not have a big army. He was actually born in a stable. And that king is the baby Jesus. So we have four Sundays to get ready for Christmas. And these Sundays help us get ready for Easter Sunday. Now, because it's Easter Sunday, it's always on a Sunday. But Christmas is one of those religious holidays that can move around a little bit. This year, it's not on a Sunday. Christmas is going to be on a Friday. So we always have the first Sunday after Christmas to be very holy in case Christmas was not on a Sunday. So let's talk about what we've already know. The first Sunday of Advent was the Sunday of the Prophets. We're all on our way to Bethlehem, all together. And the prophets help show us the way. This is the prophet Isaiah. There were other prophets in the Old Testament who told that a Messiah was coming, but Isaiah is the most famous. And he said that a Messiah was coming to bring light to the darkness. So the prophets help us get ready to go to Bethlehem. Here's the candle for the prophets. The second Sunday of Advent, which has already passed, we remember the Holy Family. The Holy Family was on the way to Bethlehem, not because they wanted to go, but they had to go because the king, the emperor said, everybody had to go to Bethlehem to be counted. It's kind of like a census that we just had. Well, this is the mother Mary. Here's the donkey and here's the father Joseph. And Mary and Joseph had a secret. The angel Gabriel came to them and told them that Mary was going to have the Son of God. It's not easy to take a long journey to Bethlehem when you're about to have a baby. Sometimes Mary rode on the donkey, but when she got tired of that, she walked. And when she got too tired of walking, she rode on the donkey. They must have been the last people to get to Bethlehem that night. So let's put them inside the gate of Bethlehem. There goes the donkey. And they're looking for a place to spend the night. On the third Sunday of Advent, we remember the shepherds. Now the shepherds were out, oops, I forgot to put the candle up for the Holy Family. The shepherds were out in the field outside of Bethlehem, keeping their sheep. And they were trying to stay awake because they didn't want the wolves to come 
and attack the sheep. And while they were trying to stay awake, they heard the angels singing in the sky. And it was kind of terrifying to hear that. And then the angels said to the shepherds, don't worry, have no fear. Angels often say to people when they're giving a message from God, don't be afraid. And they told the shepherds that to be joyful, to be happy, and to go to Bethlehem because a baby was born who would be the savior of the world. So they followed this bright star to Bethlehem to find the baby Jesus. And here's the candle for the shepherds. Now on the fourth Sunday of Advent, we celebrate the three kings, the three wise men, the three magi. Now magi, the magi were very, very smart. They studied the stars. They were also kind of like magicians. And that's where the word magician comes from, from magi. So they had been studying the stars. They knew all the stars in the sky. And they realized that there was a new star they had never seen before. So they traveled following that star. And the star took them to Bethlehem. They brought gifts for the, the baby. Now, most of us, when we set up our manger or nativity scenes, put everybody together. We put Mary and Joseph and the donkey and the shepherds and the sheep and the lambs and the three wise men. But actually, the wise men did not get there the night that Jesus was born. They had such a long journey from the east, and they didn't walk. They rode on camels, that it took them quite a few more days to get there. So this is the candle for the Magi, the wise men. Let's light the candle for each Sunday. This is the one for the prophets. And we know prophets are people who listen to God and God tells them what to do. This is the candle for the Holy Family. This is the candle for the shepherds. And sometimes we use pink which we have on our wooden plaque. Most churches use pink, but not all. This is the Sunday of great joy when the angels told the shepherds to be joyful and not be afraid. And now we're on the fourth Sunday of Advent and we celebrate the Magi the wise men. Now we have one more candle. This candle is not lighted until Christmas Eve. It's called the Christ candle. And this is the candle that celebrates the birth of Christ. These other candles are all getting ready for his birth. So this won't be, we won't light this one until Christmas Eve. But let's do it now because I won't be seeing you on Christmas Eve. 
So let's just take a minute to enjoy the light of the four candles of Advent and the Christ candle. 